So, hello and welcome to my Da Vinci Resolve GoPro Hero 10 proxy video. And this is about um, having, like, when you want to <coughs> edit your GoPro 5K footage and it's choppy on your computer because your computer is not fast enough. I want to show you how this works here with uh, Da Vinci Resolve. Um, how to, to to do this right, okay? Now, um, first of all, um, let me put the DaVinci to the side for a moment, and let's talk about a GoPro. I have here a GoPro SD card, and on there I do have all the files from the GoPro SD card. And you know maybe by now that uh, on a GoPro SD card you have an MPEG-4 file that has a large file size, and an LRV file, a low resolution video, that has only 12.5 uh, megabyte and that here this one here the lrv that is a so-called proxy it's a video that contains the same information it's uh, just in a much smaller resolution and <clears throat> if your camera doesn't have this this uh, low resolution video and you only have this large video, then uh, you would have to have the software, the DaVinci Resolve, create the proxy for you. And I'm going to show you how this works quick. So let's import this large file here into DaVinci. I want to change the frame rate and then adjust my uh, program here to what it is. Now, I have this here set to details. I think the default is doing something like that where you see your video. Uh, I'm in the cut section here, so if I go down here and start uh, editing this, then this will be a 5K uh, video. And when I play this, it's gonna be choppy. Now, my computer is here a very fast computer, so I don't have any choppiness in anything here because I have way too much CPU power on this, but on your machine, it's probably most likely being choppy. Okay, so what we can do then is create a proxy for this. And where it creates the proxy is the big question. In um, <coughs> DaVinci, we have to go first of all here in this thing, the first tab here, that is the media tab. That's where your original footage is in. So there it is, and then we go in here uh, at project settings, and in project settings there is the location for your proxy media, video monitoring, optimized video, proxy generation location, so that's where it makes proxy files, and that is somewhere on your computer. And just for this video, I am uh, going to show this DaVinci proxy. That's the folder I use. So you don't have to do this. This is just for this video, okay? So don't worry about it. Um, in our media folder here, where I have this large file with the 5000 resolution, I can right click on there. Generate proxy media. Do you see this down here? This is only available when you are here in the media section. If you're in the cut section and you try it here, if I right click on this and I want to create a proxy media, there is no uh, button for it. So you have to be down here in the media section there. Now I can right click on this and then I say generate proxy media. In this case, it will do this here and put it in this folder. I just uh, told it to create proxy media in that folder. We have to wait a minute. Now, how long this takes has to do with 
how fast your computer is, right? If you have a fast computer, that's going to go fast. If you have a slow computer, it will take overnight. So this is when um, our friend Da Vinci Resolve creates proxy media. And then we can uh, go here and playback and say use proxy media if available. And the time uh, timeline proxy quarter resolution. Now this is so small here you almost don't see it, the difference. But your editing and your scrolling back and forth will be super fast now because it's using the proxy media in here to display. Now let's look at this folder. There's the proxy media. It goes users, my gig user desktop, GoPro SD card. So this is where the original file is. And it has nine gigabytes now. That's what it created, the proxy media for it. Okay, <clears throat> now I want to delete all this again. So let's delete this. I want to delete the timeline. Yep, I go here in my media, it's all empty. And now I want to show you how to use the GoPro proxy. Okay, so we have a GoPro SD card and we have the low resolution video and the MPEG for us, right? I'm going to do this with all of them. So let's see how many I have here. So let's go to kind. The THM I don't need, I only need the MP4 and the LRV. Okay, so let's do the MP4 first. MP4 is the high resolution video. And I throw this in here, GoPro high res. I copy it over there. And the LRV is the low resolution video. That I copy into the low resolution folder there. So now you can see here in the low resolution folder all the files and in the high resolution folder all my files. Now you see that the file names are GX for the large resolution and GL for the low resolution. Now that's a problem for Da Vinci. So I need to rename all those, the GLs, rename, and I want to rename, I want to replace the text, I want to replace GL and replace it with GX. So now they are like this. And then the LRV also I want to change. So rename, so we have LRV and we want to make out of that uh, MP4 or we can do move MOV movie we name and now it will want to know if we want to do this to all of them and yes we want to use MOV on all of them so basically what I did the low resolution files of the GoPro I just renamed to basically the same name as the high resolution has okay and now we're going to watch this here. We go back to our uh, Da Vinci. And now I take all my uh, high resolution video in here. So there's my high resolution video. And let's select all of them. I can right click on it and say nothing to it. Oh, how do I? Oh, I'm going to put them all in here. So they all are available in my project. And then I can say link proxy media here. And then I go to my desktop to the GoPro LRV folder. So this is the folder here, the low resolution videos in here. And I just say open, I just select them all. Oh, I can't. Sorry about this. So we want to select all of them here. Right click and say link proxy media. Whoop, and desktop. GoPro LRE. So, and then we just say open and it finds matching files and it did it. So now what it does is it is can use whenever you use them up here, it will use the low resolution proxy. The GoPro LRE files, the files your computer has no problems playing. 
and then I can drag this over here we'll see that and then here yeah, I'm driving through fog in the morning let's make something here it would be good if I would know how to to use this side right? uh, what do we have here transitions put one here right and then let's see how this would look like oh here right you can barely see the do you see that So when you when you look at this, sorry about that. So now when I play this, it uses this media. It's really nice and smooth. So you can do all kinds of things now, and then later when you export this here on the delivery, it will use the high resolution to export, and not the proxy media, not the low resolution. It will export with a high. And uh, that means that your computer will have um, a hard time doing this. If you have a slow computer, it might take the whole night to make this video. But your editing process is very easy. All right, so I hope this video helped you. And uh, don't forget to subscribe here. And if you're done subscribing, watch one of my other videos.